My name is Xavier, and welcome back to one, two, three, four. Four really sort of big things over there. Uh, this is a VIP. What is this? We we, we cancel a uh, tactical sense dark event if we succeed in this mission. We just got to kill this guy. That's pretty easy, I think. Just throw a rocket on his face. If we capture him, though, we get some more intel, which I would really like, for whatever reason. We got a shield banner here. Three other things. I don't. I don't really know what they are. I think I heard a turret. <gasps> Ooh, here's my evac. This is going to be potentially a pretty easy. Now, I should point out that I played this mission, the next mission, and the mission after that a month ago. Uh, and then all the recordings I found out later were broken. So rather than fix them, I decided to not rec or not just wait a while till I forgot everything that's going on, uh, and then come back and play again when it was all fresh. So I wasn't like cheating by knowing what's going on. Uh, so that being said. There are 10 to 12 enemies. There are at least some... I remember there being faces on this map. I remember being somewhat surprised by that. Uh, so that's like kind of the only cheating thing that I actually know what's going on. Otherwise, though, we got six people. They are very under-leveled for this sort of mission. There's 10 to 12 enemies, possibly a turret, some faceless. All M3s. We're we wielding, like, laser guns, apparently. Uh, and a bunch of Predator armor and stuff like that. All right. I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful here, but we should be able to, at very least, just kill this guy and leave if I wanted to. Uh, that being said, let's move up with someone to do some scouting. I'm gonna say Robbie D to begin. I think he'll be able to get here without activating. Yep, yep, very good. Ah, there was a turret there, and this pod, ah, there we go. Now I'm seeing, there was a sectoid commander there. I lost sight on the other two things, unfortunately. An M3 sentry, which is some very good intel. I'm feeling like, you know, normally with Danny, I wouldn't want to move up too aggressively because I want to keep the concealment. <gasps> there we go! That's eight things on the map already. I think that was Sectoid, Sectoid, maybe like a Doofer Trooper and a Snipey Snake. Snipey Snake for... Oh, Constantine has Phantom. Yes, someday I want to be able to use him to Iron Curtain. Okay, so I think what I want to do here is I want to actually have everything activate. Well, do I want to do that? Yes, probably. Not necessarily right now, though. I should probably pick one of these pods, and then the other pod we can go scout up. Let's pick the pod on the left, then. And we'll have, uh, let's say, Matt dash up here. Ever Vigilant Overwatch, looking good. Who else has Ever Vigilant? I think it was actually Dario. Yeah, he's got, he's got Sentinel and Ever Vigilant. That's just a really cool combo. We can see all four of them, correct? The answer is yes. All right, let's try to engage the left pod first, then the right pod. That's everything on the map. Oh, well, two-thirds of the things on the map. I can sneak up to here, which wouldn't be bad. So, oh, we see something else, too. I'm going to guess a drone. Yeah, of course, drone. All right. So there's going to be another drone and then possibly a pod of two. What could there be a pod of two, though? Because this was a... Was this a pod of four or was it a pod of three? I remember there being a shield batter, a sectoid commander, I think. Maybe it's just a pot of three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there could be another drone that's nine and then a pot of three. Okay, looking good. And then last but not least, we'll bring the felts up here. Danny, I want to keep concealment with. That's a perfect place to do it right there. Looking good. Uh, Constantine, I also want to keep concealment with for the second pod so that I can use him to do Iron Curtain for once in my life. Let's dash down here with Robbie D. Looking good. Overwatch and we're back in business. Only been a month since I played, so I kind of forget everything about how to play. This pod's moving over here to the right. This pod's moving left. Perfect. Oh, they're going to spot Dario. With a step out? No! Very close, though. Very close. Drone? Yeah, this is a pod of three. 21 hit point, Sectoid Commander. 18 hit point, Sentry. 19 hit point, um, Shield Better. So this is, I think, perfect. What we're going to do is just have everyone basically stand where they are. And maybe, maybe I'll have Constantine. No, I think he's actually fine where he is. Everyone stand where they are and everyone go on Overwatch. Do I have threat assessment? I got Shadow Step Peter, I got remote hacking. No, I don't have any threat assessment with Matt. So there's no sense in using aid protocol right now. I think we'll be fine. Let's go for it. And here comes some Overwatch. Oop, I heard some mechs. Or a mech, anyway. Fantastic. Snake's like, hello. He's up there. I think I saw something back there. So at least I know where the last pod is. Plus, there's another drone, I'm going to guess, as well. Uh, meanwhile, Daria swinging a... Or no, that was the felt. Swinging a miss. Matt, though, he doesn't miss that snake. Beautiful. Daria. Woohoo! 
Berrio in for 10, shutting him down. Matt, second time's a charm right in the head. That's what we're talking about. Oh, even Robbie D. I should have used his uh, pistol. Hit for two, though. Dario, second time. Bam, right in the back for six. That's a hell of an overwatch there. Especially if you can factor in the, the fact that that was like an assault doing most of that damage. What? And we also activated the turret, unfortunately. All right. Well, I wasn't I'm not too happy about that. I should have paid more attention to the turret. I can definitely see at least one mech, possibly was an officer or something. I'm not sure what else is down there. Uh, I'm not too happy about this turret, but I can probably shut it down with Matt. The answer is 100% shut down on the drone, 85% shut down on the, on the turret. All right. Well, that's something. The felt also, let's not forget, has arc pulsar, which I could use to, I think, lower the hacking, right? Yes. Well, reduces the damage against hacking attempts, Arc Pulsar. I seem to remember something going wrong with that in one of the recent episodes. I could use that on the turret to actually get it low enough to bring it up to 100% shutdown. Or it might be possible with Matt here to take control of this drone. 69%, if I were to uh, Arc Pulse it and then control it, we would own it, and then we could use it for some purpose that I don't think is really all that necessary right now. All right, so that being the case, I definitely want to get Dario to pull this overwatch from the sectoid. We can move up here and flank this guy. We can move up here, but we'll, how far will we see is the question. Uh, we'll see up to, like, that area. Let's move down here with Constantine a little bit. Oh, holy hell, that drone can see Constantine all the way back there? Wow, okay. Well, I can't move Constantine then until we dealt with the drone. Do I want to shoot the drone into the ground? Well, I could, I could tag the drone here and tag this guy a little bit, but that's not going to do very much. I don't really want to use the grenade here with Robbie D and all these things. I could use his Shred Storm. In fact, I could position him perfectly, I believe, like maybe, maybe here, and we could hit all three of them, possibly here. It'd be one, two over, and two back. So let's imagine I was like right here. I honestly have no idea if I could hit them both from there. It would be really, really tricksy. How far up can we shoot it? Looks like we're shooting beyond that thing by about two tiles. I So I, I was thinking, could I come back here somehow? No, I don't think so. I think where I am maybe is the best bet. Or I come back here, but that's not very good either. Because I'd only be one, two, three tiles back. And I really want to make sure I can hit all of these guys. I think I'm going to have to be over here. All right, so if we want to move over here... Wait, we can do that with Robbie D right now and not pull the Overwatch if we come this way. All right, let's do that. See if we activate more. We don't. Let's see if this Shred Storm lines up perfectly. Probably not. No. Wait. No. All right, well, we still have this as an option. If I, if I can take this guy down, we could probably move up there with either the Felts or Dario and stun him into the ground. We can use the Felts finish off the drone, maybe? If I'm going to finish the drone... You know what? I think the Arc Pulsar and the drone 90%. That is such a good odds. We may... Do we have Lightning Reflexes? Yes. We may just want to move closer to buff it up a little bit. Lay into him a little bit, and then also we can kill both of these things. Let's just go for it. The Felts, move on up. Then again, you know what I should probably do first? 85% shutdown. Should probably check the variance on this turret with the shutdown. Super heavy turret's going to actually be a little bit of a challenge to take down. Okay, 76%. All right, never mind. We're going to use the felts then to shoot the turret, apply a little bit of damage to it, and get the hack low enough for Matt to guarantee uh, a shutdown on it. That means that this drone is actually going to be up and at him no matter what I do here. Huh. Yeah, I can't see any way around that, though, if I want to guarantee this. So just in case, let's toss up a body shield here against the drone. Looks good. Uh, let's now toss up the arc pulsar down here on the turret. 91 with 9 grays. That's 100% cross map. Bam. A little bit of damage, a little bit less hacking. Nice, hit for eight, actually. That was very good. Let's have Matt here. You know what we could do is toss up an aid protocol. What is the drone most likely to go for? Probably not the Felts, because he's in high cover with an aid protocol. More to likely, I'm going to say Robbie D. So let's toss up the aid protocol here on Robbie D. Make sure I have two action points. I do. Beautiful. Uh, right over. Th Come on. There we go. 
Uh, then we're going to go for the hack here on the... Yep, 100% on the turret. Perfect. We have Trojan. I don't believe we do. Kind of forget, like, who has what now. 100%. Bam. Oh, look at that. We really needed that that uh, that hack there, didn't we? Yes, we did. All right, shut down for two actions. Beautiful. You guys are still in concealment. I think I'm going to let the drone actually have its way for a little bit. I'm just kind of concerned. For some reason, I can see these guys up here. I don't know why. If I were to click this button and go right here, would this spot any of them? The answer is no, not even close. So I can do that with Dario and then lay into this guy here from, like, point-blank range and guarantee that we get a shutdown. 89%. Wow, that is so... Wow, he hits like a... Wow, he hits like a truck. He's got a good chance to just straight up evaporate. Well, yeah, he's got a good chance, but he's the... Well, no, Robbie D's still over here. Oh, no. Do I, do I need to... Should I have done this differently? No, it's fine. I can still hit the, the drone here and the sectoid. Maybe I should leave the sectoid up. If we're gonna... If we know the drone's gonna be alive, we can leave the shredder up. And I can actually clutch shot if I want to against this guy here, or I could burn him into the ground, and we can use Dario to shoot him. Who cares about this thing? And if, if the drone's going to take a shot anyway, then let it take a shot anyway. 89%, Dario with 64 to crit, right in the face! Bam! Oh, what the fuck is this? All right, well, so I guess I, I didn't see the graze chances. Why was the graze only two? What? All right, well, 91% missed. That's why I don't do things like this. Uh, let's throw out the incendiary grenade on this guy, then. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, I forgot all about how to play XCOM. Hit for six and a burning. We're going to have a drone do something, which we probably won't like, but otherwise we're going to go on Overwatch here and Overwatch there. Okay, this guy burns for one. Sectoid will have the ability to move with four hit points and probably try to do a side stupid. Ah, drone goes for Dario right in the back. Hits for one with a 53% with 18 grace. Perfect. He's got two more ablative at least. Sectoid moves over. Does do sign nonsense. Looks like on Robbie D. Woo, sweet of this. Right through the mind. Or right past the mind of Robbie D. This guy moves out and moves back. Sure does. And that's the turn. Beautiful. Reinforcements are already yellow, huh? That's scary. Well... Let's see if we can actually have a better uh, result here. If I move over here, what the heck? Dario, stop running through the fire. Just go like, why is, oh, he's disoriented. That's why he can't get over there. Okay, well, the Felts could probably get over there, but you know, the Felts doesn't have the hitting power. He's really a stunner. He does have some hitting power, but not that much. Huh. Also, don't forget the turret is now in play. Bloody hell, now I'm falling way behind having just four things to deal with here. I'm not quite sure how best to deal with them all. Especially with Dario sitting here, like, unable to do anything. Well, could I stun anything? Nope, not really. I could move a couple of tiles over, which may activate. I can move over here. Nope, can't even actually do that. Can't move anywhere without burning except up here, which could get us spotted. Because the drone didn't move, we still can't move Constantine. Huh. This is interesting. Hmm. I think it may actually be time here to use that uh, shredder I was talking about before. And I'm thinking if I move over here, maybe. Okay, first of all, let's see if we have the same sort of ability to hit the sectoid and the drone. We do not. I was thinking of moving the felts out and moving Robbie D into the felts' spot, but that's not going to work. Uh, I could just do something like this and hit them both. That'll probably... Yeah, it'll guarantee a kill on the sectoid. We'll shred the drone to get it low enough that Dario may be able to just shoot the thing in the face. It's only a 55%, though. That's not looking very good. The Felts can move over here and lock this guy down with a stun, and Mac can clean up that drone, and then we're sort of in business. I feel like I have to do this. Alternatively, I have a clutch shot here with Robbie D. Or even just a pistol shot, you know? What's his odds with the pistol? Really bad. 64%. I'm just thinking I could hit the rupture, but that's still not going to be good enough. Let's go for the shredder. We have we have enough of these things that I think this will be the smart move. A boom. Uh, a boom. Hit for one with two shreds. Sectoids down. Beautiful. Turret's still in the game, though, which is something I need to concern myself with. I don't really know what to do about it. Maybe I should shred storm. Oh, one tile away. I could move up with the felt and shred storm the turret. 
and the drone, but then I'm really blowing through shred storms for not a huge amount of reason here. All just to keep Danny and Constantine in concealment. I really feel like Matt also needs to move up here and just, just hit the, like, lay into the drone. Let's do that right now to see what the result of that action is. 71 also in the turret. Well, that's a nice hit, but you know what? We got to take the drone down. 75%, 8 to 12, the 20 grays, Matt. Boom. I would like to end the turn with him on Overwatch. Hit for only 5 with the grace. Okay. I can't. Uh... Mmm. This is not what I'm liking here. I am not liking this. Darius got a 2020 over there. Low cover is 30. So if I move next to him, weapon range will probably go up to. I can't remember what it goes up to. 30 maybe? So we get an extra 6 minus so 36. And instead of being at 30, we'd be at 66. To knock that guy out? Yeah, I don't know. I'll turn if I can just take the shot, but then that turret is going to lay into Dario, and I really don't want that to happen. This is so lame trying to take down all these things. I could just also move Dario over here and shoot this guy really hard, and if, and if nothing activates, the turret won't get a shot on him. Actually, it would get a shot on him because it can see there. But it doesn't see over here. But Dario would have light himself on fire trying to get over there because he's disoriented and doesn't have the... But we do have run and gun. No, we don't because he's disoriented. Ah! All right. I guess you just have to eat the turret shot, really. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. Dario, for the love of hash browns, if you move two tiles forward, if I activate right now, we're screwed. We'll just stay here. We'll take this 43 with 12 shot and we'll pray for luck. We'll pray for luck. Go for it, Dario. Well disoriented. Beautiful. There's the luck I wanted to see at long last. We'll move the felts over here. Oh, I forgot. He doesn't have stun. Whoopsie daisy. My mistake. Either way, he still has a 95% to hit here with a 5% grace, so we're not going to miss a point blank. 6 to 11 with 36 crit. The felts. Shut him down. Nope. But maybe the burning will? Yeah. Hit for 8. He's got a 66% chance to burn then. And then lastly, that turret can... It's probably going to shoot Dario. Kind of regret moving Matt up here now that I think about it because... No, I guess actually the felt. The turret has actual direct line of sight on all three of them. I thought maybe I could have line of sight hacked it somehow, but I don't think so. Meanwhile, back on the uh, OK Corral over here. Uh, let's get Constantine... For, actually, you know what? Let's move Danny up first because he has the scram gun. He has a smaller detection radius. We'll go up to the right and have a look-see around. There they are. We see where they are. We see what they're up to. As of right now, that is nothing. Let's move up again. I'm, I'm a little concerned that's a faceless. I'm like a, almost 100% sure that's going to be a faceless. So let's move up here. Well, then again, these guys could be as well. Uh, meanwhile, we'll move Constantine up to here. I would love, 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 love to get an Iron Curtain off on all of these guys. And that's exactly what I'm going to try to do next turn. We'll move Constantine on up here. Beautiful. And here we go. This guy, perfect, burns to death. And just the turret now. If only I had Trojan. Wouldn't even have to deal with it. But it's going to have a big shot. Oh, Sector Commander's on alert and goes for a mass resurrect. Luckily not spotting anyone. Come on, turret. Miss. Just miss. Dario's in low cover, though. Ah, there's the drone. And that's everything. In fact, that's really perfect because now Constantine can Iron Curtain all of them and potentially 19 faceless while he's at it. Come on, turret. Miss. Miss, Matt. Oh, that didn't miss at all. 36% no less. Hit right through the ablative with two additional points of damage. All right. Now then. Reinforcements are yellow. The time is now, friends. The time is now. Con oh, but we also have Shredder. And I can't hit the drone with the Shredder, though. How many things are over here? I don't even see the Shield Bearer. I know there's a Shield Bearer there. Um, if I do this, I miss the drone. You know what? I can, I can move up with Constantine. Well... Not really, because of that drone. I could move over with Constantine. I don't know if that's going to matter with the Shredstorm. Actually, yes, it would matter, because he's a, literally exactly one tile away from hitting that thing. So if we moved over, he'd be able to hit that uh, drone, and possibly also the 
shield bearer who I can only assume is right there. Now, the Shred Storm would do 4 to 9 damage and destroy a little bit of cover, but the Iron Curtain would do 4 to 7 damage in a much wider cone. I don't have to move and reduce all their movement speed. And would shred because Constantina's Shredder. And we get to kill 892 civilians. The only question is, where the heck is that, uh, who's he what's it is my question. And by who's he what's it, I mean shield better. I need to know. And these are questions that must be answered, and they must be answered now. Let's move Danny up over here. We know where everything on the map is right now. So if I move... Ah, there is the shield better. Beautiful. So, Constantine, can you actually hit him even though you can't see him? Nope, the answer is you can't. But if you moved one tile over, you might be able to. You could also hit... Nope, we wouldn't hit the VIP there either, which is kind of good because I don't really want to do that. But if I were over here, we would then miss the sectoid commander. What about over here? No. Here? No. Here? Yes! We could see them all and hit them all with a beautiful, beautiful iron... Let's just, I can't not. This is so beautiful. Come on, Constantine! Kaya's scared there. It felt like something went wrong. But for the first... Wait, before I even do this, though, it may make... Well, no. I just think maybe I should move Matt up. The turret's on Overwatch. I was thinking I can move, move Matt up enough and go on Overwatch that possibly we can get a couple extra shots in here. That may be a good idea. The Overwatch we don't have to worry about. We have Lightning Reflexes. We can probably negate that somehow. Though I'm not quite sure the best way to deal with that. I could run up here like this. How far away am I to seeing them? Just a couple of tiles. So there's a good chance Matt would get a shot if we did that. I'm liking that a lot. Although, you know, another option is just to move up with Robbie D and throw out a grenade on all their faces, which would also be fantastic. But I really want to do the Iron Curtain thing. It just sounds like a lot of fun to me. Then again, Iron Curtain will work against me in this scenario because I want them to move two tiles to get closer so that Matt can actually do some useful stuff here. Uh, so I probably want to move up. Let's get the felt up here for the heck of it, right? We're not going to activate. We will pull the Overwatch. We do have Lightning Reflexes. Beautiful. Looking good. Now. Let's, oh, that's actually in the evac, too. Let's get Matt up here. Where we'll go on to Sentinel. Oh, I forgot about this. Hack. Small intel cache. Beautiful. We'll do that a little bit later. For now, we'll go on Overwatch. Two shots. That's probably going to be good enough. We'll leave the felts alone. Danny has the hit and run and all kinds of other fun time stuff, but we probably won't have a hit and run shot because Constantine's over here now. But this is too good to pass up, friends. It's too... Oh, my God. It's too good to pass up, Constantine! Level. Level the playing field. Good Lord. So many civilians murdered. So many faceless exposed. So many things shredded. So many guys wounded. So much damage. All right, oh, we got one faceless there, another one, nope. Wow, that sector commander looks so dumb. But anyway, these guys all take positions now. Drone's gonna fly over a little bit. Oh, there's shot number one for Matt. Woo, beautiful. Hit for five? Why wasn't, well, hold on. Constantine didn't hit the drone somehow, even though I thought I had a target on everybody because he didn't shred it. And he didn't apply, um, he didn't apply the mobility debuff from Iron Curtain. Huh. Well, that sucks. Sectoid Commander's standing. He couldn't even go anywhere. He's just standing in the open. Unfortunately, oh, fortunately, Danny is in the most beautiful place of all the universe, friends. The most beautiful place in the universe. All right, here we go. All concealment gone. 99% to hit, 79% to crit, hit and run, shadow step, Danny. Bam. Take that, Iron Curtain combo. Okay, and he said for... I probably should have thrown out the grenade first, uh, now that I think about it, but... Uh, from where I am back here, let's grab... Where the heck's Robbie D? Oh, he's way back here. Uh, let's grab him. We'll move him up a little bit. We, we'll see what we can do here. We'll see what we can do. I want to throw out probably a grenade. Oh, actually, we can't do anything. I can do... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I thought I'd be able to hit all of them. Also, the turret's kind of a big deal now as well. Uh, I could run and gun always with the felt, and we could toss in another uh, shredder gun, which would work. The only question is, where the heck's that other pod? I don't know. The felts could... They were down in there in that street, so if I move up here, this is very dangerous. How far do I need to move exactly to get this shot off? Well, 
Let's assume I'm like one, two, three, four, five tiles left, and I was trying to aim over there. I hit this sectoid, and I was aiming like this. I'd have to be one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven tiles up. I don't think we're going to quite hit that there. So I can't hit the turret and the sectoid commander. But what I could do, at the very least, is move up like one, two, three more tiles. One, two. There is no real three to move up to, though. I could shred the, the gun and all of these things and all their cover. That seems like a really smart plan to me. Let's go for it. This may activate, though, and that's going to be a nightmare if it does. We'll run a gun over here with the felts. Nothing. All right, beautiful. Let's see what we can hit here. Yes, it's going to be all three of them, all their cover, and indeed the turret as predicted. Wait. Yes, we can do it. Barely. Uh, that means, who should I toss up the body shield against? It's a very good question, actually. I'm a little bit worried this Faces is going to run over here and slice both of us. But can I do this, right? Preview line of sight, no. Preview movement of this giant doofus here. He can move here. Is that close enough to swipe Constantine and Danny? I think maybe. I think swipe is two tiles. I'm not actually sure. You might have to be... Is it two tiles or one tile? Because if it's one tile, he can't swipe anybody. And I could just ignore him. If it's two, I need to kill him right now. And I don't really know. Oh, well. This is one of those things where I just forget everything. All the time forgetting everything. So... That sectoid commander, though, if we don't kill him, the zombie will still be alive. I may want to clutch shot this turret with Robbie D after we shred storm it. But I'm not even sure if that's going to be enough. And then Dario's still down here. I mean, I could dash up here and we get an ever-vigilant sentinel overwatch, but again, we're risking activating, but not too much at this point. I mean, we're already here and over there, so this would probably be the smartest move I could make with Dario. I don't know, but I have, uh, no, I wouldn't have Lone Wolf there. Oop. This is kind of a tricksy one. Well... Let's just toss the body shield up against whatever the highest threat is. We're not going to kill these things, I don't think. We can probably throw a grenade on this guy, though. The drone's are not really going to shoot the felts. The turret's probably the biggest threat. We may not kill it. Yeah, all right. Body shield up on the turret. And let's go for a shred storm here. Or shredder gun, rather, on the turret. The shield better. Oh, I actually can't hit the sentinel's cover. Oh, yes, I can. There we go. I can hit the Sentinel's cover and the Shield Better's cover and the turret and the Shield Better. A beautiful BAM! So many shred storms. Nice. 744, shred, shred, some more. No cover destroyed, though. Well, that's less than ideal. Seven. We'd have to hit for eight damage here. What's our clutch shot gonna do? Not enough. Oh, clutch shot of Sentinel guaranteed death. That is a shot worth taking. Alternatively, I could throw out a grenade that will probably kill him, but honestly, what's the point? Um, I don't see much much point. That this You can't get a much better clutch shot than this right here. I, I have to do this. We'll go for the clutch shot on the Sentinel. Beautiful. Robbie D, take down a very dangerous high-value target. Oh, my lord. Couldn't have hit him any harder there, apparently. Meanwhile, we still have Dario here, and we still have that stupid, stupid sectoid. At 41%, if I wanted to take shots. 69 over here. I could take down the faceless with a rapid fire. I'm a little concerned. Ooh, I could actually dash down here with Danny and slice this, but again, activation, so no. I really don't want this thing doing anything, but Matt might shoot it first because they move relatively early. Dario really... He doesn't have a good... I don't... I could run and gun over here and shoot. You know what? I think either... Well... I could dash over here and ever vigilant. Overwatch for two shots. Or I could run a gun over here and take a shot, probably against the drone. Try to take it down. He does hit for 9 to 13, which is an insane amount. So 679, he would take it down if I were to shoot it. The drone will probably just stand still and shoot Constantine, which is probably not that bad of a, a deal for him. I'm just a little bit worried about that zombie. 
Uh, alternatively, I could shoot the turret. Nah, that's pretty bad. All right, let's just do this. We're going to dash over here with Dario. Okay, Hopefully not activate. Sentinel, ever vigilant, beautiful. Uh, and this leaves us just Danny. Danny could slice this thing, but that activates potentially, so no. He could take a regular shot, or we could take a rapid fire. 54% on the faceless swipes. Can the faceless swipe from two tiles away? I think he can. I'm more concerned with the faceless swipe destroying my cover than I am with a drone shooting Constantine in the back. Plus, the rapid fire is going to be terrible odds on anybody but the faceless. So, Danny, 54 with 16 times 2, 70%. Hit either one, and that faceless is on the ground. And there we go, he's down. Critical hit on top. All right. Well, the turret I'm a little scared of. The shield bearer is just going to shield. That's his turn. The sectoid's going to move, and he's just going to do... He may take a shot, actually, but it's going to be such a bad shot. Here comes Matt with a shot on the... Nice, the zombie. I was hoping he would take that down. I didn't see quite the odds there, but it would... he took it down. Nice. Drone does indeed shoot Constantine. 54% for four, which I wasn't expecting. Woo! Sectoid stands in the open, takes an 18% shot at the felts and misses. What's happening right now? Oh my god, the turret! I forgot... I completely forgot the turret was flanking Constantine. Okay, reinforcements incoming. Car destroyed. Constantine taking a point of damage there. Whew. Completely forgot about that stupid turret. Meanwhile, I still have stuff here. Gotta take it down. And I gotta take that guy out. You know what? I don't know if I can... I don't know. I don't know. This is a dicey one. I don't have any more concealment to really figure it out either. I do know, however, that Danny can hit and run, and it may be time to just move down and see if we activate, right? So, let's move down. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe not. It felt a little skippy. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Uh, we can go for the hit and run on... That guy shows his yellow, but he's in cover, but he's not really in cover. I'm not sure. Either way, let's take the hit and run shot here on the sectoid. What's our... Okay, 9 to 14. If we hit this, he's dead, unless we graze it. I'm thinking with uh, Robbie D, maybe I want to throw a grenade first. I don't think the grenade will kill him, and that'll also open up the shield better to being hit with the rapid-fire follow-up. We need to move up a few tiles to make this happen. One, two, three. That's probably going to be good for me. Let's do exactly that, Robbie D. Looking good. Let's throw E old plasma grenade now. I really wish I could decide on killing this guy or not, because I throw there, we can potentially wound his car and kill him and blow him up, or at least start the blowing up. But I think I can capture him. Let's do this. Bam. Take down the cover, please. Don't kill the sectoid commander, possibly. Nice. Don't take down the cover, okay. You have sapper and one tile off. How many times have we hit this cover now? Twice? Once with a shredder and once with a sapper plasma grenade one tile away. And it's still intact. Sure. Sure. Ooh, Matt, free reload. Forgot all about that hacking thing. This stupid turret is causing me quite the conundrum. Did Robbie, or did Dario not take any Overwatch shots? Yeah, because the Sectoid didn't move. This thing didn't move. That thing, nothing moved. So Dario actually didn't take a shot at all there, which is extremely unfortunate. Why didn't we, oh, we didn't take the hit and run yet with Danny is why we, we didn't, uh, I thought he had no action points, but he does. All right, let's take the hit and run shot over here to then 57%, nine to 14, go for it, Danny. Nope. Uh, no surprise. I guess I could have potentially moved Constantine away and also Dario, but I wasn't really sure. I can slice, though, this stupid drone. That's a 90% for 10 to 14, although we have the graze. Eh. Eh. But 10. He's got 5, 10, 13 damage to chew through, so we're probably not going to kill him unless I can take down that shield better first. Ways I can take down that shield better. I honestly don't see any. The felts could probably just destroy the drone. Well, no, because it has a shield. He could hit the turret, though, pretty hard. God, this is such a dicey one. I guess Matt could probably finish. I, I would like to have Matt actually end his turn on Overwatch, if possible. Constantine can't get a flank here. Wow. That turret, though, 56%. I can move up here with Constantine, at least get some cover. He's not standing there in the open anymore. Still a 56%. Could double suppress back there, but I'm not too concerned with those guys. Let's try this instead. 
8 to 13, Constantine, super heavy turret, 56 or 20 grace. Beautiful. That takes care of one issue. Now it's just a matter of how do I kill... I kind of want to use Danny. Does he not... He does have a free reload. I could use it and take a rapid fire here on that sectoid and hopefully kill him. Who's going to shut down this drone? I'm thinking Dario, or the Feltz rather, hits it once to soften it up. I would prefer to get into high cover, though, but as far as I can see, there is none. I mean, there's some up here, but that's going to potentially activate. I don't want to do that so much. I'm worried about the shield better doing something. I could also just maybe shoot the shield better. Nah, 31. I don't like it. I think I'm going to go for the Arctic Pulse. I don't think there's any way that the shield better is going to die right now. Danny could, of course, run up there and slice him. Which will kill him for sure, but then we're going to activate for sure. So, I'm not going to do that. So, let's start off with the felt standing in the low cover. We'll arc pulse the drone 81%. I guess I could have moved closer for a little bit more aim, but whatever. Should be good enough. We'll just chew right through that shield for five and another five. How the heck did that work? I thought it only hit for four to nine. Did I miss re- Oh, because it's ruptured. I see. So now the drone is unfortunately left with one hit point here. I would love to put Matt on Overwatch more than anything, which would mean Dario would have to be the one. Huh. How do I swing this here? Dario on Overwatch is probably the smart move, but who kills the Sectoid Commander? That Matt on Overwatch as well? Someone's got to kill this, this thing. You know what? I think I'm just going to slice it to death here. 90% will leave the Sectoid Commander alive, standing around with two hit points. Nice. Danny, raise for one. One damage with a fusion blade somehow. That's legit. <laughs> Let's move up here now uh, with Matt. Where I'll pop the Overwatch for two shots. Hopefully these things start to move soon. I would love to move Dario up kind of over here as well. Two more Overwatch shots. I know I could take that and, like, knock that guy out, but why? I can take two shots with Overwatch. I'm better off doing that. Also, reinforcements incoming. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's the reinforcements? What the? Muton Elite M2 Mech M1 Gunner. All right, well, here we go, Matt. Number one. So we're going to hit at the exposed Muton Elite. Also, Dario. Beautiful. Matt, number two. Bam! Dario. Uh, not really sure what happened there. I think... Dario, what? How did the Muton get down to three hit points? All right, take that, reinforcements. Sectoid Commander still standing in the street taking shots at the felt. He doesn't know what to do. He's just standing there. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, my Lord. Did we wreck that? I did see the damage rolls there, but Matt must have crit that thing. Dario did some good work there as well. Both these guys ruptured, and I'm just not having a good day. Not a good day at all. But how do I kill all of them? Again, there's still another pod here. I would love to grab this loot right there with Danny, hit and run the shield better, and then go somewhere else. However, that's going to activate. We've already got a lot of things on the map right now, so I might have to give that loot up. That's the smart move. Constantine also moving back here would be a very smart move, or even back here for Elevation on the shield better, or shooting the mech because he's got the uh, Shredstorm. Not a bad idea. What is his... 20%, so 86% to shred it and shred it and wreck it, as they say. However, if, if I want to kill the shield better, sure, I can move Danny up and do that. I could uh, hit and run him and then also slice him, but that's a good chance of activating. Alternatively, I can move him back here, probably not activate because of this high, uh, high cover line of sight blocking element here. Although I may activate nonetheless, or regardless, rather. Robbie D, what do you have to say about all this? You've got a grenade. You could tag both of those guys. So that's not a big deal. You could hit both of these guys. They don't give loot or experience or anything, so that's probably the best idea for your turn. You probably will not kill either one of them, though, by doing that, because you hit for four to eight, and those are going to go both going to be fringe shots. We'd have to hit for six and five, so that's almost 0% chance. The mech is a pretty big concern. What's my chance here with Matt to shut it down? 75%. All right, I'm seeing an opportunity. Do I have a hack? No, the Feltz, the Feltz does not have his hack for one more turn. Interest. Wow. 
How am I going to deal with that mech? Well, I guess this secures it then, right? The shield bearer is not a big threat. Neither is this sectoid standing in the street shooting at felt over and over again. What is a big threat, though, is that mech. We got to take it down. I think the best thing I can do here... God, I could just do this and, like, win the mission right now. Nope, actually, I can't hit the shield better. Oh, there we go. I could actually do that. Probably kill all those things and blow the car up. But I don't want to do that. I want to capture this guy. Let's go for a 66% shot here with Constantine. 80% graze. Knock the Overwatch out. Shred him. And bring him low enough that maybe someone else can kill him. Hit for only six. But he's shredded down uh, to one armor now. Not too bad. I feel like the Felt is the best uh, candidate to take out... What is his damage? Seven. He can he can guarantee a kill on that muton, I believe, at close range. Robbie D could not move over there. Robbie D could throw a grenade on the mech. Nah, I might I might need that grenade still, actually. Robbie D may just need to end up taking a pistol shot on that mech. Ooh, those odds are bad. Huh. It's a lot of stuff happening. I kind of feel like I need to move Danny over here for the hit and run. So why don't I try do I can't do it. Well, actually, I guess it won't really matter. In fact, I'm probably better off. Well, if I move right here, I'm, I'm scared I'm going to see something. So why don't I move here and then, he well, then I'll be stuck here. I guess I could go there for the hit and run. But then I'm kind of flanked. I think we're, let's do that. That'll probably not activate because we can't see out there in the street. Beautiful, but we can get the hit and run like I wanted right there. 62% with 8 grays, 70 total. Danny, bam! Nice. One less guy. Pop a free reload. And we've got a 57 over here. You know what? Let's take that guy down finally. 42 with 8 grays, 50-50. Two 50s, Danny. Number one, no connection. Number two, though, this is the one. That freaking sector commander standing in the street with two hit points. How is he doing this? Okay, the mech is probably going to survive this turn. Uh, as such, let's use a body shield up against the mech with the felts. We'll move the felts in here very close to guarantee that this mutant elite is taken down. Uh, we will... Actually, it's not even a guarantee. That's only a 78%. Good God, I thought that was going to be 100. All right, well, regardless, here we go. The felts, please. Beautiful. Mutant elite right in the noggin. He's gone. And this leaves us with Dario, Robbie D, and Matt. There's actually a lot of people in play right now. Dario can always shoot. The mech is really my number one concern. I could potentially run and gun over, shoot the mech. The gunner is going to hit really hard if I don't do something. The gunner, however, is flanked. Oh, I actually thought, I thought Matt could move here and flank the gunner, but he's one tile short. Whoops. All right, that changes quite a bit of stuff because now I can't kill that gunner unless I use a grenade. Well, no, I don't want to use a grenade. All right. Should I go for like a shutdown here? 75. Let's check the variants. It may make sense. Activate haywire. Seventy-one percent. You know what? I think I'm gonna go for it because I don't have any other way to deal with it. And this guy could run around and flank a million people. Let's toss up an aid protocol then on the felts, who's probably gonna be exposed. Because I doubt we're gonna kill that gunner. Then I'm gonna go for a haywire protocol over here in the heavy mech. Although I know there's a mech in the other pod, so I'm not sure if this is smart or not. Regardless, 71%. Hacky McHackerson! Nice. Matt Love. Clicking a 71% success. That's like a 2% roll we just made right there. 2% to actually roll above 71%. Or what is it? 29%? Alright, so drones. Um, mech's no longer an issue. We still have Robbie D and this gunner. And we've got Dario over here. The gunner may move, in which case I would like to be on Overwatch. Maybe I should pull the felts back and just go on Overwatch. So in case the gunner moves out into the open, we get two shots there with Dario. Did I say the felts? Uh, either way, uh, I think what we're going to do over here is Robbie D just takes a shot at that sectoid commander. I'm thinking 35% is not going to connect. But at the same time, I don't think I care too much. Let's pull Dario back, see if we activate. It's always a chance that like one tile nearby. Nope, we didn't. Should I overwatch? Because this guy's not moving, and I doubt that guy's going to move either. So you know what? Let's not do that. Let's finally just take the shot that shuts this guy down at long, long, long last. 47 with 9. Dario. Freaking hell. This sectoid commander literally standing in the street. 
This guy is serious XCOM recruit material right there. Like, nobody can stand in the street that good and survive, except Razor and me and all of XCOM, because the enemy is so dumb. God, we gotta kill this guy, because if he gets back to, like, out of an HQ and tells them all they need to do to beat XCOM is stand in the street, we are screwed. All right, Robbie D. 23 with 12. However, it actually makes sense here to use the laser pistol for the aim bonus. <laughs> One year into the game, guys, and I'm using laser bonuses because they matter. 28 plus 12 for Robbie D. Bam! Oh, you've got to be kidding me, the sectoid commander. Okay, Gunner did move, but he moved away, so he's no longer flanking. He's going to go for a shot on Matt. Holy hell, 30%. Of course, he doesn't miss. Hit for nine. Oh, there's a mass resurrect on the sectoid commander. He finally moved two tiles. Good lord. Can someone kill that freaking thing? Like, seriously. Constantine, if I moved you up here, could you shoot it? No. If I moved you up there, could you stabby it? Yes. Would you then activate on a million more things? Probably. And you wouldn't get that stabby because you'd be busy shreddering. Could I move Danny up here, hit and run it, and then also slice something? Yes. I gotta do it eventually, right? Let's do it. What? All that time? And nothing happens? Good lord, look at Danny in the middle of 8 million Zambi. All right, Danny, hit and run. The... Where the heck is it? There we go, 88% sectoid commander with 7... If you miss this 95% shot, I swear to god. Finally. Finally. That thing is dead. Wow, that took forever. Now we wait for animations. And we get back to playing. 61% here on the gunner with Danny. Interesting. Or 250s on the heavy mech. Next turn, he can get out here and punch this guy, which is going to be it's probably something I screw up somehow. I'm really unhappy about Matt getting wounded here. Let's go for a gremlin heal on himself. He can keep himself alive a little bit longer. Looking good. Uh, we can probably use the felts to shoot the mech, no problem. I don't necessarily want to flank this guy because we're exposed. I would like to kill that guy some other way, and I think the other way is actually going to be Danny because he already has the flank, or or Constantine. Uh, Constantine could move over here and get a nice flank, grab the loot while he's at it, and have the high cover. Beautiful. Smart of macrophages. Beautiful. 66 or 89. Let's go for the 89, Constantine. 100% with grays. There we go. Finally. Something getting wrecked. Alright, Danny, I guess then we're going to pop a free reload here. Before I take his two shots, which are probably going to miss because they're going to be about 50% each. Maybe the smart move is I go for as much rupture as possible. I could also have Matt go on Overwatch in case something patrols in. Why don't we move up here? Well, yeah, let's move up here with Robbie D because it's safe. No activations because the felt is already up there. We'll take like a very light pistol shot here. 44 with 20 grays. Plasma pistol, so if we... Oh, 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 well. If we hit, we get some rupture, but alas, no rupture, so... I think we're just going to go for a rapid fire here. 235 with 16 grays. So 51 times 2, Danny. Bam! Swing and a miss. Second time's a charm. Nope. Wow. Danny is probably the least effectual hit-and-run uh, SMG character I've seen since the last month. When I played last. <laughs> oh, God. All right, well. So much for having some overwatches. Let's move up here with Dario a little bit. I know I'm giving up all my hit and runs, but what are you going to do? Uh, let's take a shot over here. 44 with 17 grays. Go for it, Dario. I really would have loved to have double overwatches, but I'm just going to have to lay into this thing and take it down. Nice. Hit for nine. What's my shot here? 86%. Uh, I guess, you know, what, Matt, 58 with 20 grays. Let's go for it. Really? 78% miss. This is just getting stupid. All right, fine. Arc Pulsar, guaranteed. I wanted to save that for that other mech pod I'm probably going to fight right now. But alas, nobody can hit a mech standing still in the open. All right. What the? Oh, my. How the hell did this thing not transform 400 turns ago? Now it's going to move over, swipe Matt, deal damage, blow the car up, and kill Matt. And there's that pod I was talking about. I think that's an M2 mech, a longbow, and an M3 officer. They definitely, definitely are in the donut shop. 
Oh, good lord, this is bad. And they spread out really exceptionally well. Suppress Constantine for the reaction shot. Here comes, potentially, the end of Matt. How the heck did this happen? Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh. Whew. Okay, Matt's bleeding out. What the heck? And now I don't get to hack the stupid tower? Yeah! Oh my lord, how did- and reinforcements are red again! Oh my god. What? Where? Where did this guy come from? Where? Where did he come from? Holy mother of heavens. This... Ah, this is insane. This is insane. In the proverbial membrane. All right, only one thing we can do, and it's blow this guy up. How many tiles do we have? We have pretty much none. Where can I go for high cover? Nowhere. All right, Robbie D. Stand where you are. Stand your ground, friend, and throw a grenade on the VIP and the car. They want to blow cars up and kill guys? We'll blow cars up and kill guys. Poof. Nice. Hit for eight. He's dead. Mission complete, but no uh, bonus reward, unfortunately. Let's bring the... F oh, no! The felt is going to be within five... One, two, three, four, five... I cannot... Be cannot allow a micro-missile, because it will kill Matt. I have to spread out. So the way we're going to handle this is, we'll toss a body shield up against that heavy mech. We'll toss up a running gun over here with the felt. So we'll run over to this direction, away from him, so we're all spread out. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to lay into this guy 100%, 6 to 11, go for it, the felts. Bam! It for six. Well, it's more than zero. Meanwhile, Dario actually is in a world of hurt here. <laughs> Let's move all the way back here with him. We have no... Uh, I guess I could have reloaded. I guess I can still technically... No, I think if I reload, I end this. I could have reloaded, then run and gun. I think if I run and gun right now and hit reload, actually, I can still do it. And then shoot that guy. Uh, alternatively, though, I'd rather just go for the... Let's just shut him down. Don't even care. All right, now, Constantine's actually under assault. However, is there some way we could, like, super cheek this? And the answer is yes. In fact, we could move anywhere, and it's, it's just... It's guaranteed cheeked. Guaranteed cheeked, friends. Uh, we're gonna do that then. Constantine, dash on down here. See you later, suppression! Uh, we're also spread out perfectly there, so I don't have to worry about, you know, the things that I would have to worry about if I weren't spread out perfectly. And then last but not least, I think Danny's gonna have to... He... What is Danny gonna have to do? We need to spread out. I prefer... You know what? Why don't I give them... No? I was gonna say, why don't I give them vision on Danny? But he needs to be able to get out, so... Let's move down here. Uh, we have the Faceless in- I I'm actually gonna hunker with him, because I don't want them shooting him for no good reason. Reinforcements just went from red to green. Because there's another drop here. Please no mechs. Oh, did I just see a mech or a shield bearer? Oh, it's a mech! There comes four guys. Bam! This mech is not the Overwatch variety. So I don't think he'll go into Overwatch out of the drop, right? Right, 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 right. It doesn't matter, I have lightning reflexes everywhere. He did indeed go into Overwatch. Here come these guys. You got a micro missile? Go for it. I don't care. Nope, they're going to suppress Robbie D. Here comes the other mech. He's going to make a big run, but no flanks. He's going to take a shot. No micro missile, Robbie D. Oh, Robbie D only has two ablative, too. Woo! He's hit for only two. Beautiful. And here comes the officer with a move and a, a mark. Yep. Now we're talking. Okay. Uh, let's get first some vision here on the preview bodies. That's where the bodies are beautiful. Where exactly the felt has uh, r lightning reflexes. We can go anywhere. Would here pull the shot? Yes, it would. Let's go for it. The felts pull that overwatch shot. 
Looking good. Let's pick up the mat and let's get the hell out of here. Holy mother of heavens, was this painful. So, uh, about a month ago when I had played this mission last, the result was actually a flawless victory. I remember that. Now, I don't remember. It, it was nothing like this. It didn't pan out. I think it was, had to be the same enemies, although I don't remember fighting this, like, lineup. Uh, but... I can still get more experience by killing that faceless with somebody. Is everyone out right now? But yeah, it was a flawless victory, and I had captured the VIP. This time around, I had to kill the VIP. I got two wounds, and I didn't even kill, like, three of the enemies, and I didn't get, like, half their loot, and I didn't hack the tower. I could have sworn I remember hacking something as well, but... Regardless, who can shoot here? Uh, it looks like Robbie D's the only one. Can he kill a faceless with nine damage? I think the answer is actually no. So we can't even kill this faceless on the way out. Well, you know what we can do is try. Six to eight. What if we crit? No, we can't even crit. Never mind. Not even worth the time. Let's get out of here. Everybody out. We're out. Good lord. Brutal. Well, that's a massive downgrade from last month's performance. However, uh, the mission's still a success. We've countered the dark event. We got some intel or an intel... Uh, intel reward... Oh, wait, and I had, uh, I think somebody, didn't, Constantine had the wound thing, but shouldn't that not affect Constantine? Or was it, does Matt have the wound thing as well? I think it was just Constantine. Maybe Matt also has it, so I don't think Constantine took a wound there. That's good. That at least is good. Whew. What a mess this mission was. What a frigging ginormous mess. Key All-Star MVP player. Good work out there, well, it wasn't Danny, I'll tell you that much. Back our uh, the Felts did a lot of good work there. Constantine just kind of... Well, he did have that Iron Curtain, but then he missed the drone somehow. Dario just kind of ran around going on Overwatch, not shooting. Oh, he did hit that Muton Elite. Matt and... I think Matt did actually pretty well there with Dario taking down that Muton Elite, which could have hurt. Robbie D just kind of hung out. I want to probably give a key all-star MVP player to DX Tori for failing to record the audio of this episode a month ago. However, honorable mention goes to OBS for not allowing uh, you to disable scene compositing, even if you don't need it when you want to record, thus giving like a 20% FPS drop comparative to shadow play. Also, a uh, key mention to Focusrite for making such a wonderful, wonderful mic to USB converter uh, that every once in a while goes into haywire mode and needs to be unplugged to reset, which is what I did, which is what broke my audio setup in DX Tori, which is what caused uh, the episode to not be recorded properly, but only because OBS uh, couldn't be used in the first place, but... Also, key mention, probably, probably, to something else. There's some other issue. What I'm trying to get at here is that recording sucks. It's so freaking stupidly complicated for no reason. Uh, but I did just learn, actually, I can get around the OBS FPS drop by having a second video card, which I record to, for whatever reason. But that kind of makes uh, a lot of an issue, because making a second video card on my water cool system's a nightmare. But, anywho, it's the Felts. You get an upgrade. You, sir, are going the awesome, awesome spec. You know what? I feel like you're going to need to survive. You're going to need to survive a lot. Let's go formidable. Beautiful. Smart macrophages. Poor guy killed. Now, which one do I get? Do I get the 29 intel, or do I get the... the... Ah, I got... Uh, so I didn't get the 29 intel. However... I got this thing over here, which gives me intel anyway. So I think that's what I got last time. I can't remember. It was it was like over a month ago. And now I'm back into this thing. So from here, I don't have a clue what to do. Let me just quickly look around. We got one day there. We got one day here. We got rookies down there. I don't care about that. Uh, we've got pretty much nothing going on up there. Nothing over here. We have a UFO on the map. And so I think the smart move is, with 40 intel, how many missions are we actually infiltrating? This troop column, am I anticipating boosting that? I don't think so, but maybe. And is that the only one that's being infiltrated? 
Uh, the smash and grab we're not doing. One day, one day, five days. Extract, five days. Strength six, sabotage, and this. So, yeah, we're good. All right, am I building a radio tower anywhere? Five days. Yes, building a radio relay. That's really what I should get on with. So let's get the supply drop. Okay, never mind. New target acquired. Mexico, seven days smash and grab. Actually, light and moderate, though. Well, I could over-infiltrate it. But at the same time... How's the strength region? Seven? Eh, I'm, I'm going to pass on that. It's not that not that necessary. All right, we got our supplies. I think we've get beam cannons in five days. So let's go spend those five days hitting this radio relay. So we can move on to do that black site if we need to, and we're good. Ooh, Josh Ross got Hunter's Instinct. Right, I had forgotten about that. Let's toss him in for formidable for five days as well. We're just going to make him very formidable. Mexico, six hours. Rescue VIP scientist. No, thank you. Whatever this is, two days. No, thank you. Keep scanning here. Supply raid. One day, five hours. Into East Africa. Well, we're not doing that at all. And that's going to give us another region with strength 8. However, that strength could be coming from Eastern Europe, bringing it down to 9. I feel like New India is going to get raided sometime very soon. Uh, in any event, let's keep scanning. Alright. Ooh, nice! Facility Commander, pip right here in New Brazil, where I'm going to anyway. Another supply raid! Ooh! This one, however, 5 days, 21 hours. Alright, so let's go take a look-see here. How many guys do we... Heavy! That's actually pretty serious. Well, I may need Josh Ross for this. Uh, EN is here as well. Danny's available. Oh, Journey 5 can go out of this mission. And I think he'll actually be wounded up or healed up by the time that's done. So hold the phone though, right? So I'm wounded for three days. Generally, huh, heavy supply rate. This is, I'm probably going to have to boost it. Because we're going to end up bringing, like... Well, I guess we'll have constant... We're going to end up bringing not the best squad. Danny can fight and Hades can scout. The Felts will be there for doing stuff, maybe. Yeah, all right. Well, let's gear it up regardless. I'm pretty sure I'm going to cancel Josh Ross and bring him along, but we'll see in a minute. And here's the squad. It's going to be Josh Ross, Danny, Ian, Johnny Five, Hades, the Felts, and Robbie D once again. This squad's actually pretty awesome, I think. Uh, but this is what I'm going to do here. Uh, Hades is going to be full-on scout. Danny's going to go full combat pretty early on. So I'm going to give Josh Ross the very first Warden Armor. There we... Why is his pants so stupid looking? I feel like someone linked me a mod at one point with a fix for this. But whatever. I don't even care. It's fine. Uh, we'll just... Well, Josh Ross likes pants, apparently. Let's build another thing here for Danny because I feel like he's going to get pretty well beaten up as well. Beautiful. Second Warden Armor up and at him. There we go. That's a little bit weird. Oh, he also likes the pants. I kind of like the pants with the armor for no good reason. Uh, but otherwise, we have Ian here with a shredder gun. Johnny Five, shredder, 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 shredder. We got five shredders. Advanced arc thrower. Uh, we can't get any better there. Advanced here. Fusion blade there. Fusion blade here. We're pretty well decked out in every way. We also have two pistoliers with plasma pistols, which is awesome. And I don't feel like there's anything else I really need to do here except potentially give the felts a little bit of something else. I don't know what exactly. Uh, maybe a med kit now that I think about it might be helpful because I don't have much of anything here. I, Danny has one, but that's it. Josh Ross has the shredder in case we get like a sectopod or a cyberball or something like that. He can probably deal with it. Does he have a scope? He does. Elite scope, expanded magazine. We don't have any better one than that. Uh, yeah, we'll have to stick with what we have. And there we go. I think this will be good. If we get something big, we can double shredder it. With Josh Ross, maybe triple shredder it, depending. Or quadruple. No, we don't have an officer. Bloody hell, we can't command him. All right, no, we do. We do. Actually, Hades is an officer. I completely forgotten about that. He's only a level one officer. But it's enough to get one command. So if we get something really big, Josh Ross can light it up like rapid fire, get commanded rapid fire, and that'll shred all of its arm, all nine armor right off of it. And then meanwhile, we also have a grenade over here. I think EN has airdrop as well. He does. So a couple more grenades to go to Robbie D for a bit more. Sapper, heavy ordnance. What is this? Heat, good times. Yeah, so we can shred a ton of stuff here, especially with all these things as well. This is not going to be easy. But at the same time, it's not going to be hard either. I'm so close to having, like, really good... God, everyone looks so good in the, in the red sunlight here. 
But regardless, we're going to boost this for sure. 108%. Let's plan on it, and away we go. Sky Ranger deployed. All right, now, finish this up. Catherick's done with Oscar Mike. That's actually pretty good. Why don't we go for get some again, just in case. And we'll keep scanning. Maurice Kennedy recruited to Haven in Western US. All right, let's review whoever this is. Nine days, rescue via, okay. This is a jailbreak. So we got one rookie, resistance personnel, resistance personnel. Resist three resistance personnel. Four resistance personnel and one rookie. Nine days, hold on. Come over here again. Seven days, five hours. Neutralize target. Get attention. Not interested in that. Is that jailbreak? Some Ooh. That jailbreak is actually in West Asia, which, believe it or not, is my only region I can do any missions in. It's the only one with low strength. Strength four. Doing that jailbreak and getting four resistance personnel would make all the difference right now. However, do I have people available to do that? First, let's see how long to the next mission. I think the only one I have queued up is this one here, troop column, like three days. All right, well, let's take a look in the in the barracks here. One day on Drigri, two days on Cecilia, two days on Fetter Day, two days on me. I really want to do this mission, but I'm not willing to send in, like, Constantine and Dario all by their onesies. Megan's training. Yeah, we could maybe do it, but it's so risky and we're so close. What if I waited two days? Could I still do it? Yes, actually, it's 9 days, 18 hours. No problem. I definitely actually want to do that. In fact, this will be a strength 3 region once that troop column is done. So let's remember to do that in just a couple days here. EMP bombs are complete. Let's hit accept. We're working on incendiary bombs now as well. Drigri's recover from wounds. Beautiful. Hack work. Oh, what is this? Operation Cap Suppression. Have I done... That's in Egypt? Uh, what is that like? Africa, East Africa. I have not done Liberation 1 there, it looks like. So that's probably Liberation 1. Let's keep going then. Hey, I've recovered from wounds. Awesome. Megan got aim. Hunker down gives her some aim. Gets evasive as well. That would be very good. I'm going to go for it. Six days. We'll keep her out for now. Keep going. And what am I waiting for? Oh, 23 hours for beam cannon. Is anyone I'm going to send on that mission going to actually use the beam cannon? Eight days, so I have to wait a whole nother day. It'd be down to seven days, which is still a long time. The beam cannon would be used by Constantine, actually. Yes, let's wait for that, and we'll send him out with a shiny new thing. Cecilia's recovered from wounds. We need to wait for her anyway. We got three days here for some random thing. We'll hit no on that. Another eight days. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's a conundrum. We got a nine-day counter-dark event. We get 30 intel for doing it. This is actually very important here. Destroy the alien relay. Light moderate, though. That is a lot of enemies. But I can probably... Oh, I don't have Josh Ross. If I just had someone like Josh Ross, he could evaporate that thing so fast. Huh. I definitely want to do that, but I feel like we're going to wait... Probably for this team to get done with this ambush troop column up there. Let's keep scanning. We're nearly done here. Lots of things are about to happen. Whoa! This is happening. Johnny 5 recovered from wounds. Johnny M's recovered. And Aloysius has recovered. Begin evasive maneuvers. Now, I remember that I did not have to play uh, Avenger Defense. So I'm pretty sure... Yeah. I'm pretty sure that happened. Uh, four days, three hours... Very light recover. That is so like I can actually do these missions. What the heck? Stop spamming me. Eight hours hack works. Eh, whatever. Okay, nearly done. Two hours on beam cannons. I think our uh, troop columns actually at 100%. But I just want to finish this off here. View. Oh, nope. Actually, we got this first. All right. So we got a lyrium phase cannon. I've never even seen that before. Wow. That doesn't actually look cool at all. But whatever. Psionics. Mobile armor. Plas battle suits. That's what I want to do. Or I could do the sectopod breakdown because we're never going to get that for free. And that'll give me a level three hacky, which I can use for plus 20, whatever. I think I have enough of them to actually do that as well. So that probably makes some sense. 
for four days, or to the battle suits and the, you know what? I don't really care about the hackies. Hackies, everybody's a freaking loser who tries to hack anything in this campaign. Let's go for battle suits. I've never actually made them, to be honest, in all of Long War. Because as long as I've been playing this, I've never made them. Uh, let's do this. For God's sakes! Oh my lord, there's so many things! What is going on up here now? We got one day, and it looks like... Uh, Victor! Victor's gonna go out on a little dumb mission. Now, I've already been playing for an hour. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to... S no. Actually, you know what I can do? I can do the troop column. I really just wanted to finish this. Finally! New Mexico is contacted, or not contacted, but we have a radio relay there. We can now make contact in Eastern U.S. for 100 Intel, or New Brazil for 100 Intel. This is five rebels and four rebels. Uh, meanwhile, we have this thing to do up here. I think that's actually going to be pretty fun, sending Victor out there. We just got the beam cannons, which is pretty fun. But I think, more importantly, there's also two missions on the table that I have to queue up. God, there's a lot going on. And then there's this troop column we need to do, which is only light. How many people are in this squad? Wow, seven people. All right, that's actually pretty good, because this should be a steamroll, unless there's like, I don't know, seven sectopods or something. But should be, should be. Uh, and then as soon as we're done that, we can go do that other faceless mission, and then we can go queue up those two missions uh, some way, somehow. Then I can go scan my intel reward, and stuff is going on everywhere. Anywho, so as we're returning, a troop column and a rendezvous. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. This is too good to pass up, friends. It's too- oh my god. It's too good to pass up, Constantine! Level. Level the playing field. Good lord. So many civilians murdered. So many faceless exposed. So many things shredded. So many guys wounded. So much damage.